Uh-oh. Oh, goodness gracious. I just screwed that up, didn't I? Hi, how are you? You are... Riptide. I don't think I need you anymore, but you had... Riptide. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And I'm moving villagers around and... Um, so restructuring the things here so that there's room between all of the yeah <clears throat> okay so i'm gonna have to move these guys first let me get him moved um just because just because and then uh then we're gonna talk about villager to-do lists Yeah, so we are still on Oops. Minecraft 1.13.2. And the reason being Minecraft 1.14 is still not ready. That should work. <clears throat> yeah, um so they they released another snapshot. Um this doesn't entirely matter. They released another snapshot of 1.14.3 and it was so the a new, a new pre-release I guess is what they're calling it although honestly they're snapshots. <laughs> um, so they and they're fixing lots of little problems and bugs that were there that they should have taken care of and hello yeah. <clears throat> um so yeah that's uh frustrating and of course they changed iron farms again uh so riptide one for 12. let me just get this one taken care of here and then i will stop trying to like work and talk at the same time. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, you have fun there. Go back down here. So I will probably, I need to obviously move these guys. Um, so things like that don't happen <clears throat> and move them over because what I found was I'm building these things up uh, from the ground all the way up and it, it's easier to just build two of them at once uh, so this guy here is where my infinity guy is going to go here's my infinity guy so we will um I put a torch down here just in case. Got some lighting, uh, ish, lighting, uh, everything's good with the lighting once I get everything in, but until then, let's bring you over here. Oops. Ooh, I'm all kinds of sloppy today. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so they, they changed all the villager, not all of it, they changed villager mechanics again, and, uh, oh yeah, they changed the iron farms again, <clears throat> and it all kind of results, it all has to do with sort of spawning of iron golems, and they seem to be somewhat hell-bent on making sure that... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't understand what the motivation is. Um, <clears throat> I understand wanting to not make 
the the game too easy. Iron is infinity five. Okay, awesome. Um, <clears throat> the game is. Um, I don't know. Iron is really important in the game. It's 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 one thing that is. Uh, it's one resource that more things are made of than anything else in the game. So. <clears throat> Okay, so how this happened was I went through and removed the glowstone at the back of his uh, little carol there and dug out here above to put him in and to put the glowstone up in the ceiling. And that's right underneath the guy right there. So there's only one one layer between them, which is part of the process here is I'm separating them by an extra layer so that I have room to put dig down into the floor to put you know their workstations here without having that be visible from below yeah <clears throat> okay so this is i i finished this side and it's all nice and clean i doubled the width of the walkways and put the put this fencing in here uh, I, I will have to be removing fence. I had to anyway, but I'll have to remove fencing when I want to get get new villagers up into their space. I may remove this fence right here and put a walkway across so that to get over there, I don't have to go all the way down here, go over and go all the way up. But um, I dug out this side over here a little bit back into, oops, oh, I, I, I filled it in, back into the wall. Um, so this goes alongside the, uh, the pumpkin and melon farm here, which I think, I think I have another block here that I can, I can dig in, I think. Yes. Excellent. I have two more. So I will probably be taking advantage of that because I need to move all of these one, at least one block this direction. Because right now, the glowstone that appears here uh, also appears, right? So the glowstone that, that appeared here was the glowstone in the back of the other side. I was sharing a wall, and that's the kind of stuff that needs to go away here. <clears throat> Just to get a little bit of extra space so that the villagers don't lose track of their, um, their stations. So, some of the things that down here that will need to change... Um, I need to get rid of this bed. It's not that big of a deal. It's a convenience thing. Of course, it's nighttime now. Well, I need to eat. Oops. Come on. No, stop it. Oh, it's now it's morning. <clears throat> uh, so this bed will be will cause a problem after the upgrade. Uh, right now, villages are defined. Uh, effectively by doors, right? So I've got row doors here. I've got two rows of doors over here. And a row of doors over here. And each of these doors... Hi, guys. Each of these doors counts as a house. And the population of a village, or the boundaries of a village, have to do with doors within within range of villagers and with with this guy up here Mr. Smith hidden away up there all these doors are in range so all of these doors are considered houses so the boundary of the village is about 32 blocks from the center right where he is or from the center of all the doors which is about where he is it's actually one block back which is this row of torches here. So I put this in here so that these villagers would be outside of the village, but just barely. So moving, even under the current thing, moving this over one, even if I had villagers for this. So there's 30 villager slots here that are not filled up. Ooh, spooky sound. And then I've got up top, I've got, um, I think, I don't think any of these guys are filled, right? So this entire... Oh, no, I've got one up here. So I've got nine. Hi. Uh, so I've got nine, 39 
slots for villagers, which should cover all the new enchants and everything, I think. And if not, um, I can just extend all of this back that way even further. There is nothing behind this wall except just, you know, world. <laughs> Stone and, and uh, gravel and dirt and all that good stuff. <clears throat> so it won't get in the way of the, the pumpkin and, and melon farms. And um, yeah, so this, this wall right here is kind of at an arbitrary distance, but it's enough to get in 10 villager slots spaced out farther apart than these. So that's all I need. Oh, more scutes. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> so we can do that. I could also go up another layer, I believe. I don't think that there's nothing up above here, uh, except for I think there might be some caves. And I'm super grateful that <laughs> none of these are, uh, are slime chunks. Um, I'm hoping that this here is not a slime chunk, this area back here. I've not seen any slimes yet, but I guess you never really know. So, iron golems get spawned when there are at least 10 villagers in a village. There's a chance to spawn an iron golem. Uh, the number of doors that I put in here are enough to to spawn up to, I think, 19 villagers. And the reason I chose that was because back in the day, when you got more than 20 villagers in a village, every night you ran a small risk of spawning a zombie siege. And zombies could spawn, could just spawn anywhere near or in the village. Um, and they ignored spawning rules, so it didn't matter how well lit things were. You could half slab everything. They could spawn on top of roofs. They could spawn in places that normally mobs could not spawn. And it was super annoying, and there was no way of protecting against it. <clears throat> and then every now and then, they release a new version of the game, and they're like, oh, zombie siege just stopped working, so we fixed it. And... Nobody complained that zombie sieges weren't working. This is not a mechanic of the game that anyone that anyone is like likes. I'm gonna put this down here. Make sure that <clears throat> time is moving normally on the server because I thought it was just dark. But it could have been it could have been a storm up above. Anyway, so no one's been filing bug reports saying, "Hey, zombie sieges appear to be broken," because nobody likes them, and they don't really do that much to the game. And um, the iron golems aren't necessarily good enough to protect the villagers against zombie sieges. So why bother? So in the new pre-release 1.14.3. They put in a uh, patch note that said, oh, zombie sieges weren't working, so we they're back. Like, great. And I've seen people testing on their streams, actually demonstrating that zombie sieges do, do in fact occur now. And it's annoying. But the problem is, I don't understand how they're, how they're, what the logic is behind their generating. So here, this is a village because of all these doors. Now, 1.14.3, these doors, which are counted as houses, these houses aren't enough to support a population of villagers. You need beds. So you need beds for each of these guys. So once I get rid of this bed, excuse me, um, once I get rid of this bed, this is the only bed anywhere nearby. And I'll put it here so I could sleep away the night when I needed to, um, <clears throat> then this will, this won't be a village anymore. And this won't, there won't be, you know, so my 19 villagers that I have in here, and I know there are 19 because nobody's doing any farming because everyone's fed. Uh, so I could go through and like call out a bunch of these guys and then they would start breeding again in this version of the game. So get rid of that bed. These doors don't matter anymore, and if I don't put beds back there for the villagers, the villagers become unhappy and they, they stop doing anything. 
So, <clears throat> and they won't breed. So, to-do list thing number one. I need to build a new villager breeder in here. And probably, and what I'm thinking is, I'm actually going to dig back this way. Because I don't think there's anything back there. We're under the water. We're under the, the bay inside the middle of the server. Um, near the spawn area. So I can dig back here another chunk or two. I can put in beds over there. And then villagers kind of in between there and here who see the beds and go, oh, look, we have enough beds. We can make babies. They generate babies. The babies then get carried away by water. So it's going to be a completely different situation than what I have here. And then they'll be boosted way up in the sky, probably just up to the surface of the water. Uh, and then they come and then they'll come over here and I'll turn this into some sort of a holding cell where I get villagers and then I can pull from here to pull out my new villagers. That's the plan. And I'm going to start working on that, but I don't want to completely disable this just yet. So I'm going to, so this, the, the glass up there at the top, that's actually at sea level. So I'm probably going to just extend that over and work from the top down because working from the bottom up here was pretty darn annoying. Uh, so <clears throat> if I go up and I extend the thing and build the glass around it, I can get rid of all the water and then start digging down. I think that's the plan. <clears throat> so, so village boundaries, I think, are kind of defined by villagers in proximity to beds. So then the beds, the villagers... That'll be in the breeder. I just need to protect them against potential zombie sieges. But I don't... The goal is to get their babies out of the range of the beds. So they're out of the village. As quickly as possible. And then get them over here, which is not in the same village. So the holding area won't technically be a village. We'll just have a bunch of villagers. And because there aren't any beds around, I think that means you won't get any zombie sieges. But in the latest pre-release, they, they did another thing. They added a new game rule where you could disable raids. And the raids are the illagers, not the zombie sieges. So the, the illager raids are part of the game. I could see it being completely frustrating for people. So having that kind of control over the game is useful. It'd be nice if they had game rules for things like, you know, Enderman griefing. <laughs> but... <clears throat> Um, they don't, or nothing that, uh, that, that detailed. Um, oh, I'm also a little concerned. I've got David S. Pumpkins here and I've got baby Huey over here and they're, I just, they're a couple captive zombies and I think he's, he'll be far enough out of the way, but David S. Pumpkins, I'm going to have to move, I think, because I mean, I've been intending to move him for quite a while anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, um, but him being so close to these villagers, I think will have an impact. I think he's close enough. He might be close enough that these guys will be scared and they will try to call an iron golem. Um, and I don't want my accidental iron farm here to just be transferred over there. Uh, these guys will not have beds. I do not think they will require it. So for the new iron farm, the the villagers in the new iron farm do need beds and they need workstations and all that stuff. So I'm thinking of building the iron farm here. <laughs> maybe, so I'll dig out that way for the breeder and then maybe I'll do the iron farm. Maybe I'll do the iron farm right here. I don't know. I have to research distance. Um, but if I build a relatively small iron farm with a couple of uh, spawning platforms up there and then drop the iron golems down here, I don't need... I can... Right now, this area goes back here a bit. Uh, but I don't need that area anymore. So I can have the iron golems fall down into here. I can wall this off. Iron golems fall down into here and get themselves killed in lava. 
and collect all of their poppies and iron. Um, <clears throat> obviously, not too hard up for iron because there's iron just sitting in the wall there, but hey. Okay, so yeah. So maybe maybe David S. Pumpkin will be the, the zombie that I move up into the iron farm in order to terrify the villagers. Maybe. Okay, so that's changes that will have to happen around here. I don't know what I just I thought a baby zombie wearing chainmail armor was funny. That's why I captured baby Huey. Um don't really have any needs or plans for him. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh, take a walk.